Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to Lubbock, Texas. Let me give you a tour of my shop. I've got a treadle hammer that's foot powered like that, see? Also have a spring health power hammer that I spent the last month building. This will be its maiden voyage. I hope it goes. Come on in. Inside my shop, I've got my main knife making tools. Belt grinder, grill press, heat treat oven, and a bandsaw. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do a mini segment called Fire It Up with your host, Spicy Mike. Today, we're gonna make a sauce that resembles exactly what I tasted in round one. So we're gonna use habaneros as our spice, and we're gonna use bananas to make Will's fiery nanner sauce. So we're gonna go at least try to shoot for a 50-50 mix of habaneros and bananas. So now we have our ingredients in the blender. It takes, it's gonna take a liquid to kind of pull it all together. So we're gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So now we're gonna puree it. I've been in Texas my whole life. My family's been here since the 1850s, and so I try to incorporate Texas history into my knife work. One of the things I like to do in my knife work is use historical Texas materials. For example, I've got some wood that came from the grounds of the Texas Capitol. I've got a wrought iron wagon wheel rim that belonged to my great-great-grandfather who lived in Spicewood, Texas. And I've got a piece of railroad rail that's made of wrought iron. This is from the first railroad that ever went into Dallas in 1872. My knife making is really about taking, taking materials, whether it's a historical story or just a bar of metal, and making something tangible out of it. That's what drives me in this work. So that's the basic shop tour. I'm glad to have you along with me this week. All right, so just to tie everything together just a little bit better, because both uh, habaneros and bananas are a little sweet, we're gonna add just a little bit of honey. Don't wanna get crazy with it because they're both already sweet, but honey does add a little bit of extra flavor to it. Now you can eat it right now if you want to, it's totally ready to eat, but if you wanna put it in a jar, leave the lid loose and set it in a warm area, not very sunny, just kinda in a warm area and let it ferment for about five to six days, uh, it'll taste a whole lot better. This is Will's Fiery Nanner Sauce. Cheers, Will. That's really good. That's really good.